In this tutorial, we are going to create this vintage lock. We are going to start with the base shape and then the keyhole and also the top part of the lock. And at the end, we are going to create this floral ornament and finalizing the model. Also, you can download the project file from our Gumroad page. It includes fully unwrapped model with all the textures in 4K and also the render scene. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you're ready to begin, let's dive in i'm going to add the reference but i'm gonna look this from the front view and the press shift a image reference and select your image and i'm going to put this a little back here right and then go to data and um, check this opacity and turn the opacity down a little like so and then go to front view and move this a little to the middle and then go to uh, outliner top right of the screen press this filter and check this selectable and for this layer uh, turn off this selectable so now we cannot select our reference next i'm going to create this base shape by making a plane and i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and put this uh, maybe here and go to edit mode and warframe and select these vertices and put this down here or maybe here and scale this like so and i'm going to select these and put this up here and a scale like so all right then i'm going to select these uh edge and e for extrude and I scale this down another extrusion e and I scale this up and another one scale up like this and also again scale this down maybe up here and another one and another the last one all right and also up here another extrusion and scale this down like so also, I'm going to add a subdivision surface for two level and I'm going to turn off the edit mode bottom here. So if I go to edit mode, you can see your modifier. And if you go back to your object mode, you can see that. So you can toggle between these two options. Again, wireframe. I'm going to add an edge loop here for the middle. And also, I'm going to use the knife tool by pressing K. And I'm going to do a cut from here to here. And press Enter. And then select this one and put this down like so. Also, this one, I'm going to put this down. And let's see. So here we have the curve. Nice one. And I'm going to do some adjustment i'm going to make this part and then copy this to the other side then tab out and press ctrl a and apply the rotation and then again go back to edit mode select all by pressing a and then go to mesh symmetrize and i'm going to symmetrize from negative x to x so down here uh, set the direction to uh, from negative x to x which is this one all right then i'm going to select polygons and press i for inset like so and also i'm going to select all the edges and i'm going to extrude this like so all right and then also i'm going to select these polys and let's put this a little out from the edge, right? Again, I'm going to select all, and I'm going to extrude this inside through the Y axis, maybe around here. If I go to object mode, as you can see, the subdivision surface, it's going to smooth this model, but we don't need that. We want some sharp edges, which we can achieve this by adding supporting edges, which we can do that by doing bevel for some edges. So 
to do that i'm going to hold alt and click here and holding alt and shift to adding the edge loops like this and also this too all right and also these and these and these two edges like so and then press ctrl b for bevel with uh two segments like this all right now if i go to object mode as you can see here we have the sharp edges as well but i'm going to turn on this edit mode and go to edit mode and go to wireframe and then select these uh, vertices and move this down like this also these two i'm going to move this down to uh, match the curve of the model to the reference and again i'm going to select all and go to mesh and symmetrize to copy to the other side all right right now i'm going to create this keyhole here so go to edit mode and also i'm going to turn off this grid so go to this overlay and turn off the grid all right and also i'm going to delete uh, these edges so we'll select this one and hold control and select this one and dissolve the edges also these all right then go to wireframe and select these vertices i'm going to put this down here and maybe these two and maybe this one i'm going to put this here and this one uh here and these i'm going to make this as a, a square like this and then select these hollies and right click loop tools and circle and turn off the radius and maybe turn on this and I scale this up something like that and maybe put this down a little if you don't have the loop tools you need to go to edit preferences and add-ons and then search for loop tools and turn this on so if you right click you have these options here all right next i'm going to add this down here which we need to uh, use the knife tool and select these and also these and hit enter let's put this out like so do some adjustment outside of this hole and then i'm going to select these polys press i for inset and do inset like so but also as you can see it's not a symmetrized shape so select all and go to mesh and symmetrize and as you can see here we have some uh, extra edges these holding alt and click and dissolve these edges all right and maybe i'm going to put this down a little if you uh, want to make this a flatten vertices you can press s z and zero to flatten this also these shift r to do the same thing then i'm going to select these edges and dissolve and maybe from here i'm going to join press j also from here i'm going to join this two together press j let's bring this up like this and select these polys and extrude inside like so now select these uh, polys and extrude this something like this but let's go from the form view and let's put this on vertex and go to wireframe uh, press g uh, through y-axis and hold alt and hover your mouse over this vertex and snap it here then select these polys inside and extrude this inside the model 
like this and let's scale this down all right and also I scale this to x axis let's scale this up a little something like this and let's put this move this inside a little and again extrude inside and then delete these faces something like that all right now we need to do the bevel so i'm going to holding alt and shift and select these edge loops these edges and also these from inside like this and pressing ctrl b for bevel for two segments and also i'm going to hold alt and click to select these edges and deselecting this one also select these deselect this one also these and then press ctrl b again for bevel but for one segment like this and we need to join these two together also these two and this way these two also here i'm going to select these and join them together and also here these two join and these two join together also this way i'm going to merge them and let's see so i can put this on three for level maybe we can add an edge loop here and select so like these two and press j to connect maybe put this a little closer double g and we can also oh we need to we can also select this one and this one and press j to connect and also here select this one and this one and j to connect but you can delete this upper one dissolve and join this into this vertex and connect that's it for the keyhole you can click this right click here and shade a smooth now i'm going to copy the front side to the back of the lock so i'm going to go back to object mode and select the object Control a for applying all the transforms and again go to edit mode and select these edge loops shift s and cursor to select it which is here and again go back to object mode by pressing tab and right click set origin to 3d cursor here and again go back to edit mode and i'm going to go for poly selection press a for selecting all and i'm going to deselect these polys and then go to mesh symmetrize and we need to symmetrizing from negative y to y so here i'm going to select negative y to y and here is the result and i'm going to select this press slash to go to isolate mode and i'm going to select these loops and press f to fill this cap also you can do something else we can uh, select these two and join and these two and join and also these two and we can delete these and also here we can merge this at center also this at center and i'm going to put this down and scale this to x axis and i'm going to delete these we don't need that also these two we don't need that and also here we need to merge at center merge at center and we can put this up and j to connect also we can move this like so and put this up and also again move this like so so this is the back of the lock and this is the front side 
and now we are going to uh, I'm going to make this a little smaller and let's select these vertices and I'm going to move this closer to the other side and I'm going to delete this edge loop and again make another one which is at the center of the model also let's do some adjustment for these edges I'm going to select these and dissolve also these dissolve and these two and let's go for vertices vertex mode and select these two and M at last also these two and shift R to do the same thing shift R and select these two and shift R and also I'm going to select these two vertices and press M at last and these two shift R like this all right now let's go back from isolate mode by pressing slash and here I'm going to press K for knife tool and I'm going to add a cut through Y axis to here and press enter to apply and also let's go closer again knife tool and click here and Z and do a cut here so go to the other side and select this one and add a cut here right click and hit enter to apply something like this and again go to edit mode and select these polys and press i for inset and then right click loop tools and circle and i'm going to let's go from the uh, wireframe and i'm going to turn down the radius uh, like this and i'm going to put the orientation to normal and i'm going to move this press g and press y to move this to the normal like this and then we need to again put this on the global and move this to y-axis and put this around here all right i think it's okay go to warframe and now i'm going to press e and put this down like this and s z and zero to flatten this and x and faces to delete the faces and then i'm going to uh, add an edge loop here pressing ctrl r and here is the result now i'm going to do a mirror or symmetrize so again select all we need to do a symmetry from negative x to x so go to mesh symmetrize and negative x to x and here is the result also we need to do some adjustment to uh, these edges as well the same thing we did here now also let's go back from the isolate mode and we need to make this uh, top part now for the top part i'm going to add a circle i'm going to rotate this to x axis 90 degrees and put this here I scale this down like so and go to edit mode and go to isolate mode and select these vertices and delete and then select these two vertices and e to extrude down like so and then go to object mode and go to object convert to curve then go to uh data and under the geometry and under the bevel increase the depth like so let's go back from isolate mode to see this better and i'm going to increase this a little more let's go to wireframe and i'm going to scale this down to match this hole something like this i think that's okay but we need to put this at the right position 
maybe a little more from the depths. I think that's enough. So then I'm going to again convert this to a mesh. Select this. Go to object and convert to mesh. And then go to modifier and add the subdivision surface or two levels in shade smooth. Like this. All right, now we almost did everything. Now we need to make these floral shapes. To create this, I'm going to add a curve. So Shift A, Curve, and Bezier. And I'm going to rotate this to X axis and 90 degrees. And then I scale this down and put this around here. And go to Edit Mode and put this one here. This one rotate. And then scale down, then put this around here, and so we can uh, move this a little or scale this down. It's all about tweaking. Select this one and press E to extrude, which makes another vertex, and rotate like so. Put this around here and again E to make another vertex and R to uh, rotate. I'm holding Shift to make this rotation precise and I scale this down like this and again another E for extrusion and R for rotation. And S for a scaling down. And I'm going to select these two and press Edge to hide. All right. And again, go to Edit Mode. And let's see this better. I'm going to put this here. A little scale up. And again, E. Put this here. Rotation, scale. You can select each handle and press G for uh, moving this handle like this. And then under the geometry, I'm going to increasing the extrude, but it's going to work to the uh, other side, which we don't want to. We need to apply the transform. So control A and apply all the transform to uh, apply this extrusion to the right way, which is this way. So here I'm going to turn down the extrusion through here and let's go closer. And here we go. All right. We can go to edit mode and select this one and press Alt S to uh, decrease the scale for this vertex. Also, this one decreasing the uh, scale for this one. Also, I'm going to select this Shift D to make another one. Go to edit mode and I'm going to delete uh, these vertices. And let's select these and uh, rotate and put this here. Go to edit mode, select this one, and put this around here. And I'm going to moving forward for the other floral shapes. So this maybe scanning this down, and maybe I'm going to put this here and a little decreasing the scale. And here again e to make another one maybe putting that here alt s to decreasing the scale Right, like this. 
and again we need to make another one so i'm going to select this shift d to make a copy go to edit mode and delete this one and select this rotate put this around here scale this down and put this here go to edit mode select this one put this here rotate And again, another, another E. Now make another one, Shift D. Go to edit mode and select these and delete. And then move this here. And what maybe... Put the origin to geometry and rotate. I'm going to join these uh, lines together. I'm going to select all and press Shift D to make a copy and press M, new collection. And I'm going to call this backup. And I'm going to turn off this just in case. Select all and convert to mesh. All right, now I'm going to uh, let's start with this one and i'm going to select these two and ctrl j to join them together go to edit mode press one for vertex and select these two and at last select these two and aim at last add uh, another edge loop here and also another one here and select these two and m and at center and also these two shift r and these two shift r and i'm going to delete these edges dissolve also let's check the normal select all and shift n but it's in the other side press alt n and flip all right and let's see, I think here is two uh, faces. Let's see, I'm going to delete this. All right, and select these uh, edges and press F to fill this. Let's go back from the face orientation. Now I'm going to add a subdivision surface for two or three levels and turn off the edit mode. All right. Can check this maybe we can dissolve this one and press ctrl r for adding an edge loop and also select these two and j to join them together let's continue here and i'm going to select these two and ctrl j to make this as one object go to edit mode and select these two m at center and these two as well shift r and let's put this uh here for now and select these two and at center select these two shift r these two shift r and these two all right and then i'm going to select these two and at center again and also these two 
m and at last all right and what if i'm going to delete these and nh loop here and maybe a little moving this around and also this one i think here we have two faces let's delete this one all right and then again selecting these two and f to uh fit list oops so here we have something weird to fix this i'm going to select all go to edit mode and again press a to select them all and press s y and zero to flatten everything right click and set the origin to geometry like so and let's check the face orientation for this one and i think this is and it's okay and so here we join this together let's go for this to control j and let's connect this two together also these two at center and these two I'm going to actually uh, join this to the last one, M at last, and also this. All right. And also, we need to join these two together. Go to edit mode, and I'm going to join these two together at center, and also these two, Shift R. And I'm going to delete these. uh edges delete and let's join these two together and also these two and selecting these and press f to fill this like so all right and here we have a normal problem so let's check select all and shift n to fix this all right let's continue i'm going to select these two Control j as well and let's go closer i'm going to join these two together these two and also let's add an edge loop here and another one here and select these two and add center and then I'm going to uh, delete these edges, also these uh, edges as well, or maybe not. I'm going to join these two together, and also these two, and I'm going to select these edges and fill, fill these as well, like so. All right, let's again, continue and joining these two together go to edit mode i'm going to um delete this face and select this join them and also join this and let's go for here i'm going to join these two together or maybe i'm going to add an edge loop here and another one here and put this closer to each other and select these two and add center now we can um delete these edges and select these two at last these two at last and these two at last and maybe also we can double g to move this here and double g here and little move this inside and f to select these let's see select these and press f and fill this and press uh, A to select all and shift N to fix the normal. Also, let's go 
for the last one in this side and let's turn off the face orientation and i'm going to uh, join these two together and these two as well or maybe i'm going to add an edge loop here and then select these two and add center and then i'm going to select these faces and delete or um maybe not i'm going to join these two together and also these two and let's move this here let's see this better i'm going to join these two and also these two and we can delete this also these two and then select these and press f to fill this and deleting these two let's move this here and a little inside we need to uh keep the curve at the right position also we have another one here let's join these two together ctrl j and select these two at last and also these two at center and select these two at last and also deleting these edges like these and f to fill this as well and here we go let's see the flow let's see the vertices if there's anything that's changing your curve i'm going to turn on this um, edit mode to see this better if there's anything that changes changes your uh, curve for example here i'm going to change this put this down maybe this one and and i think the rest is okay all right now we can make this top part okay let's go for this one first and let's delete these faces and select this edge e4 exude and e again and e again and then select these vertex put this here and again put this here into tweaking this edges to uh achieving the shape k to make it cut and again select this one e scale down another e and a scale this down and moving this around Uh, I'm going to turn on the on cage button to see this better. Next, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's turn off this on cage and edit mode, and I'm going to delete this one and select this edge and extrude the rotation and move this vertex here and again select this edge and extrude and rotate this little and another extrusion and another one and put this here and also put this one here as well and again this one and this scaling down and again this one is scale this down and then select these and extrude 
I'm going to execute this twice and scale this down. And let's see. Now I'm going to turn on this subdivision and on a cage for the edit mode. Let's go to wireframe. Don't forget to save your project. like this and we need to uh, add a couple of these but i think we can copy this join this to the other side uh, let's turn off this and i'm going to select these faces and for example up here i'm going to press shift d to make a copy i'm going to rotate this like so and let's put this here I'm going to delete this one like these and move this around and put this something around here and i'm going to join this two together at last and shift r and let's turn on these options select these and make a rotation like so and then we need to moving some some of these vertices. I'm going to turn off these and again select these vertices, but let's all right. I'm going to select these vertices as well and Shift D and make a copy. Put this here. Rotation. Now go for this one. I'm going to selecting these and Shift D, make a copy. Do the rotation. Turn off these options and go here and scale this down a little. And maybe I'm going to uh, delete these two faces and press L while your mouse is over this object. If you press L, uh, it's going to select this. So I'm going to move this here a little rotation and then select these two. At last, and select these two at last, and move this around here. I'm going to turn on these options to see this better. And I'm going to select these, put this here. Also, again, I'm going to select these. Uh, polys and shift D to make a copy and I'm going to scale this to X axis and negative one and put this here let's check the face orientation you can hover your mouse over this object press L and shift N doesn't work alt N and flip the normal and let's go back from the face orientation and rotate this Also here we need to deleting some of these edges. Also, this one should be a little more curvy at the end. So I'm going to delete these.
also this one let's select let's delete this and select this one extrude and extrude a couple of times and also select these extrude here twice scale them down also select these extrude here twice scale them down and also these and scale this extrude this twice and let's do some modification So we can add an edge loop here, also one here and another one here to make this a little more uh, sharp. Let's turn on this cage and edit mode. Also, we can add another edge loop here. Copy this. Like all, Ctrl Plus to grow your selection, not these. And I'm going to press Shift D to make copy and rotate this like so. And scale this down a little. Move this around, select this, and extrude here, here, and here as well. And let's go to wireframe and joining this two together. Also, these at center and these at center, and like these two and join and here is the result but we need to mirror this to the other side so i'm going to select this and set the origin to the 3d cursor and let's go for the mirror to uh, z axis but i think we need to apply all these transforms and put this on x and Turn on the bisect, but before applying, we need to select these and move this a little out. All right. Now I'm going to apply this and let's check. All right, here is the result. All right, I'm going to make a copy from this and put this on the backup. Turn off the subdivision surface for now. now I'm going to select all the polys and extrude this inside like so. And I'm going to delete these faces. Next, I'm going to add an edge loop here for once, one segment. Turn on the subdivision surface. And here is the result. We can put this edge loop down to make this smoother or uh, sharper. So I'm going to put this around here. Press Alt Edge to bring uh the hide objects and i'm going to select this one and put this around here maybe selecting these vertices and put this a little more inside and select these and put this here maybe a little more inside also we need to add four uh, spheres here so i'm going to add a cube and then press Control 2 and maybe three levels. And 
apply this, then add a cast and put the factor on one and apply this as well. Go to wireframe, go to isolate mode and select these polys and delete. Go back and select this one and rotate this 90 degrees and scale this down. Put this here. Let's go for wireframe and put this on the top. Maybe a scaling to y axis, something like this. Also, shade is smooth. Maybe a little out. All right. Also, I'm going to uh, make a copy and put this here. Or maybe we can use the mirror modifier. So I'm going to put this here and also another one here and select these two and join them together. I'm pressing Ctrl J and go for the mirror modifier and select this object at the uh, mirror object and actually apply this. Also, we can add this to the back. Also, this one. So, I'm going to select this and use the mirror modifier and select this object at the mirror object. And I'm going to put this on Y. Also, these. I'm going to make a mirror and select this object as mirror object and I'm going to put this on um, Z axis like so and I'm going to apply this so this one I'll select this one and delete and I'm going to select this at a mirror modifier and select this object as the mirror object. I'm going to put this on Z axis to make a mirror. I'm going to apply this like so. And that's it, the modeling is done. But before we finish this video, I wanna show you some of your awesome work. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. This is fantastic. I will put the link of the social medias of these guys in the description. Let's follow and support each other. As always, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.